Oh, hi, I'm Kate, and I love drawing outside. There are so many cool colors in nature, but I've been wondering, where do all these colors come from? How do we see them? Well, we sure can't see color in the dark, can we? So if we need light to see color, and our light comes from the sun, what color do you think the sun is? Hmm. Did you guess yellow? A lot of people think that sunshine is yellow because that's what we see in drawings and cartoons. But what if I told you that sunlight was all the colors? Yeah, the light that comes from the sun is called visible light. And visible light is made up of seven colors. But they're all together, so we can't see them. We just see it as light. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, it's kind of like a rainbow. Now all these colors are coming at us at the same time. And trees, clothes, anything with color absorbs all of that color. Hmm, what do you think absorb means? Yeah, it's like sucking it up. Can you do that? Absorbed. But not all the colors in the visible light get absorbed. Some colors get reflected back to our eyes. What do you think reflected means? Let's think back to that mirror experiment we did. So we're looking at a dark mirror and when we turn the light on, we can see it because the light reflects from the mirror or it bounces back to our eyes. So if you're looking at my shirt, what colors are being absorbed or sucked in? Yeah, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now, what color is getting reflected back to your eyes? You're right, it's red. We see this shirt as red because red is bouncing back. Now, I think it's time for a game. Have you ever played I Spy? This is like I Spy. I'm gonna tell you a color that's being reflected and you have to see if you can find it in nature. I spy something reflecting the color green. Did you guess the needles on this conifer tree? Then you're right. This one's a little harder. I spy something blue. If you guess the juniper berries, you're right. This one might be the hardest. Can you find something reflecting a rusty red color? Yes, I think that the cactus might be kind of rusty red. So there's a lot of different colors in nature. But why do you think plants and animals are different colors? Let's look at these two frogs. The frog on the left is green and kind of yellow. And it's in a pond where things are green and yellow. It blends in or it can camouflage. Now it can't be seen or eaten by predators. Now look at that frog on the right. That frog is really bright, not a very good hider. That frog is a bright color to warn predators that it may be poisonous so it doesn't get eaten. These frogs are two different colors, both trying to escape predators. Now it's your turn. Go outside in your yard and see if you can find something in nature that is every color of the rainbow. Look for something red, something orange, something yellow, something green, something blue, something purple even. That's a hard one. Good luck and have fun.